So in 5.2, we're going to look at some special products. Now, these are exactly the same as 5.1, except they're just going to have special names. So we can have a perfect square trinomial, and we can have a difference of squares. And what this looks like, it would be in this form, a plus b squared, or it could be x plus 3 squared, um, but it would be in this format. And so anytime you have something squared, for example, 4 squared, this is the same thing as 4 times 4. So we could write this expression as a plus b times a plus b. Okay, and if it's written that way, we would just do the exact same thing, either the box or foil, or you could do visually to expand it. Uh, the other type is a difference of squares, and the difference of squares, what it ends up being are two squares in your final answer with a difference or subtraction. And so every difference of squares is the same term for the first two spots, same term for the last two spots. One gets a plus, and one gets a minus. Uh, and so again, this again, you would just be doing the same expansion. If you'd like to memorize what this looks like, and that you would just square each, and then put a subtraction between, that's fine too. Just like this one, you would do the square of this, the square of this, and that would get you these two terms. And to get the middle term, you would do the first term, and this times the second term, and then you'd times it by two to get the middle term. So we're going to do an example here. First, we have a perfect square. And if we write this as 2z minus 5y times 2z minus 5y, we could do our expansion just like we've done in 5.1. So if we expand the 2z times the first two, we have 4z squared minus, sorry, 10 z y and then the next one minus 10 z y the order that we write z and y does not matter and then plus 25 y squared which is getting your like terms together 4 z squared and then we have negative 10 and negative 10 so minus 20 z y plus 25 y squared so notice that you could have just squared this and got 4 z squared squared this and got 25yz and then done this times this and then times by 2 and you would have got your middle term. The other case here, this is a difference of squares. So to state what type, this is a difference of squares. And so I'm going to do this with the box method. So whichever way you'd like, just trying to switch it up. So 3k minus 7, 3k plus 7. And if we fill in our box, we have 9k squared minus 21k plus 21k minus 49. So we have 9k squared minus 21k plus 21k minus 49. And collecting like terms, that goes to 0. So 9k squared minus 49. So notice again, we could have squared the first term to get this, squared the second term to get this, and put subtraction between it. And we would have ended up with the, the same answer. But again, you can just do it like regular. Here's a challenge question. So try this question and uh, bring your solution to class. And if you have any questions, make sure you write them down.